back now at 8:11 this morning on today's Consumer Smarts. What to feed your pet? Like my dog Jasper. Today, animal rights advocates are calling on the government and pet food companies to widen that pet food recall to include dry varieties. And if the recall of nearly 100 brands has you wondering what is safe to feed your best friend, you're not alone. Today, consumer correspondent and I Village contributor Janice Lieberman went on Pet Patrol to sort it all out. Janice, good morning to you. Good morning to both of you. Thank you. I actually received an email from one of our viewers wondering just that. Since Menu Foods made all those different brands of food in their plants, Scott from Bellevue, Washington wondered, if I buy the premium food, am I wasting my money? We decided to find out. Our vet doctor Jill recommended Iams to help her grow up to be healthy and strong. For that great taste dogs love. Kills and this, kills and this. Pet foods are big business, gobbled up by most of the 144 million dogs and cats in American homes. But not all pets eat takeout. Gail Osborne prepares her dog's meals from scratch. They get a mixture of raw meat and ground up fruits and vegetables. They absolutely love it. They've never walked away from a bowl of food and they're always content afterwards. Ready? She's part of a growing trend. Owners who don't want to trust their loved one's health to big corporations. After the recent pet food scare, uh, it really reinforced that what I've been doing for so many years is the right thing. It's been a mystery that's only gotten worse. Recalling millions of containers of pet food. These days, a lot more people are thinking about what goes in the bowl. Veterinarian Dr. Brian Voynick has had tons of anxious calls and some close ones. Honey is only four years old and uh, came in with, uh, with kidney failure actually a week before the recall news was made public. A week uh, later when the recall announcement was made, uh, Mrs. Weiss was smart enough to go back and, and look at the code numbers and called us and said, hey, you know something? It might have been the food and indeed it was. Are you angry that it happened? Of course I'm angry that it happened. I feel like I poisoned her. She trusted us to feed her the best we could. We did, we love her, and we made her sick. We did it. Like most pet owners, she wants the very best for her cat. But not everyone has time to play chef to their pet. And the recall has raised doubts about even luxury foods. Among the 95 brands on the suspect list were premium products like Nutro and Iams. I think it's pretty strong to be regulated. This is kind of a fluke or an aberration. Maybe a couple years ago, I changed to organic. I feed my dog better food than I feed myself. <laughs> And at any price point, shoppers face a dizzying array of choices. You've got the five plus year old, the seven plus year old, the light, you've got the adult, you've got the sensitive stomach, <laughs> you've got the oral care. Uh, it just goes on and on. And some of you have sauces yeah. to put uh, on. Yep. I mean, this is more than we have as adults <laughs> to choose from. So what really is best for your beloved pet? Should you buy ordinary brands or shell out more for premium, organic, or natural? some of these nutrition companies and have shown that, for example, uh, their nutritional status and their longevity is actually longer on some of these top quality nutritional uh, premium foods. That may be because even if they come off the same assembly lines, premium foods follow different recipes. The cheaper stuff gets more corn and byproducts. The expensive ones get more seafood and lamb. Pet owners spend over $400 million on natural and organic pet food for their precious ones. Now, it may cost you a bit more, but as vets point out, you may be getting more nutrition for your buck. You'll need double the amount of the conventional as the natural to feed your pet. And what does that translate to? Just more poop in your backyard. With so many choices out, is it more hype than help? Well, you know, there's a lot of choices, but choices are actually good. If you ask your veterinarian what diet is best for your pet in its stage of life and its condition, your pet will benefit. That's good news for anyone who gives four-legged friends a seat at the table. They're animals, for most folks, at least for me, they're part of our family. And I wouldn't skimp on what I'm feeding my daughter, so I'm not going to skimp on what I'm feeding my dog. Remember, if you have pet food on the recall list, the FDA recommends you stop using it right away. You can get a list of all that recalled information at our website, todayshow.com. But even with the recall, there are a lot of choices that pet owners have. Premiums and organics and bakery goods. I mean, this is crazy. 
Uh, but as the doctor said, there really is a difference. I'm usually I'm the one to say price doesn't matter, you know, go for the cheap or the generic, but here's one case where you should pay a little extra. And when we did the math, you really only have to feed them less of the better stuff so it evens out in the end and less poop in the backyard. I don't think you should say that in front of Jasper. He's pretty sensitive when you talk about the poop in the backyard. If you choose to make your own food for your animals, what should you keep in mind? Well, some of the vets say, you know, you should really worry about salmonella if you're giving raw chicken. That can happen, so you have to be careful. And also, when the pet foods have that mix, they're scientifically approved. So talk to your vet if you're going to make your own and give, you know, table scraps or a no-no. So you really have to, fo you know, follow a regimented diet, not just anything you happen to and have. And watch out for obesity, too. It can happen to animals. You f overfeed them, they're having a problem just as well. You should be able to feel their ribs, not see them, but feel their ribs. And talk to your doctor, bring them in. And they might have to change as they get older, as they get more sensitive, if their coat isn't shiny enough. Stay All on top of, of it. Okay. can be addressed. Janice Lieberman, thank you, as thank usual. You. Up next, the spiritual side of April Fool's Day. I think Jasper's losing interest. We're going to go <laughs> first these messages. <laughs> Come on. They say you are what you eat. Put a plant in topsoil, you get a starving plant. Because ordinary topsoil has little, if any, nutrition. Now put a plant in miracle Grow garden soil. Wow. Rich, organic ingredients. Plus,